This on country special. music's biggest night. Yeah. Like this is uh this is gonna be really awesome. Country superstar Thomas Rhett and pop superstar Katy Perry are one of the anticipated performances at the CMA Awards tonight in Nashville. Both admit performing in front of your peers is a daunting task. Lady Gaga, Beyonce, right. yeah, exactly. Rihanna, and it'd be like, hey guys. Hey, yeah. Hey guys, I'm <laughs> hi. I usually try to over sing during award shows really? to make sure my peers know that I have pipes. Everyone you know what does. I'm <laughs> So. Think about where we started. The single they're performing is the title track off of Rhett's album he released earlier this year called Where We Started. I have to thank you both because you definitely taught me patience when I was lucky enough to speak to Thomas earlier in the year about this album. I heard that there was a music video for this and neither of you leaked anything. Were you like the vaults <laughs> growing up in school that people would go to you to keep secrets? I'm really good at secrets, actually. I'm terrible at them. So Are you? I, I don't know how I got, I don't know how I didn't get you secrets. I, I have a lot of secrets. <laughs> uh, Tell us some. No. Okay. That, that is 100% the longest that I have ever waited on music video to come Me out. Too. The collaboration between pop and country music superstars is a hit with fans, and the two artists had a lot to talk about the first time they met. You know, I think we have same interests, same values. Mm. He's got kids. I've got a beautiful little girl and you know we're just talking about our kids and how to try to not be hung over in front of them <laughs> um you have to give con you can't just say that no i was just like people were like talking oh do you have any parenting advice and it's like yeah don't be hung over with your kids it's shameful <laughs> and that's only coming from experience oh it's beginning to look a lot like christmas Rhett is a multiple CMA award winner and just released a new Christmas EP and a fun video announcing his upcoming tour dates for 2023, which includes shows across Canada. What you got, Jerry? Thank you, Tommy. Uh, when do tickets go on sale? I noticed the yeah. press was peppering you with some questions and one of them <laughs> called you Tommy. And I'm, I, how many people call you Tommy? Yeah, who calls uh, you Tommy? Only my high school friends, and that was kind of like a jab at them because they're the only people that call me Tommy in my life, and I hate being called Tommy. Just don't think about it. Okay. <laughs> and so that was just like kind of a jab. That video was so fun to make. Thank you for answering that question, Tommy. That'll be the last time I called you Tommy. Okay. I decided to put it in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, do you remember your first time coming to Canada for a show? I do, actually. I do. Actually, it's wild, this story. Okay. Um, I guess I'll share it. It's been 10 years, so why not? You can hear Katie's very green first visit to Canada that involves Michael Bublé and a lot of laughs on citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.